Welcome back, it's Melanie, your she shit scrapper. So today I am back with a one page layout using the Simply the Best collection from Pinkfresh Studio yet again. Um, I am not sure if these are the photos I scrapbooked of my boys already or not. We have lots of outdoor photos from kind of spring 2020. Uh, nothing else to do really. <laughs> so we spent a lot of time outside um, and I'm trying to come up with kind of different ways to one, get more photos on a one page layout, I guess. And two, I have a lot of landscape photos and need to kind of come up with some creative ways to scrapbook those um, on one page. I've done straight down the middle before. And so I decided to kind of stagger the photos like this and I did you can see double back that um, photo on the left hand side these photos are very similar in kind of facial expressions and backgrounds obviously they're kind of successive if that's the word um, photos what I decided to do is cut the different pattern papers into flags and I am going to kind of use those in different widths and different lengths in those three open white spaces. So you can see I'm kind of using light colors. I kind of picked out the colors beforehand. Um, I really like that yellow um, and then that diamond paper I like a lot. Um, so I am just going, making sure that I have nine, I guess, strips of paper. Realize I need another one. So I did do three of that yellow and I am going to turn these all into um, flags, I guess they're called. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me, please. <laughs> um, and then kind of figure out how to stagger them in that white space. Um, I'm just going to start at the bottom and then kind of move my way up. I am loving this collection. I had, this is one I've been using a lot lately, probably because it's a good outdoor kind of adventure collection. And that's kind of where I'm scrapbooking, I guess, chronologically. Um, and so it just works. So I'm trying to come up with fun, creative ways to use the collection and kind of make it different than the other layouts. So I have a couple, I'll try to, um, tag, not tag, not link, I don't know. I will have the video link, I guess, at the top right of some of the other ones that I've used, or this collection with. Um, but really this, using the flags like this made it quite simple for me. Um, I am going to pop this one up on some foam tape and then really embellishing was quite, I guess maybe on the simpler side because I use pattern papers and it is kind of busy by itself without um, any embellishment. So I had, cut out previously one of the papers has a bunch of tags and so I had fussy cut all of them and realized that would kind of be a good maybe base for some embellishment clusters I wasn't really sure how to embellish um or how it was going to embellish before I kind of started the layout but once I had these tags here I thought they worked out really nicely one thing I wish would have been different maybe separated those two lighter green ones um toward the top and the bottom but you could see that that middle tag is cut off it must have been on the edge of the paper and so i was kind of limited on where i could place that one so now i'm just kind of using those as the base for embellishing you can see i'm going through all of kind of the cut apart sheets there, trying to figure out where to place them. Um, 
I really like that explore, cut apart, and then into the wild. I thought that was definitely appropriate. And I did kind of stretch, I guess, that middle cluster. The other two are going to be, I think, more simple than that. But I kind of wanted the explore to be my title. Um, and so I do kind of stretch that out almost the whole length of that, um, those tags there. The other two are going to just be kind of smaller ones. Um, I just, I decided, you know, I want the middle cluster to be where the eye kind of is attracted to. So there's lots of fun little stickers. The other collection I'm using is the super cool collection from Pink Fresh Studio as well. Some of the colors in that and some of the sayings are perfect and they're outdoor adventure sayings. So you can see that I did move that little fun sticker up to the top um, and then added that puffy cool sticker and then the bottom it just says play all day and one of a kind. And then because I have the enamel dots for the collection I just decided to scatter those throughout the clusters as well as place them in the openings of the tags. I don't have a lot of twine, so I instead will add the enamel dots to that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link this collection down below for you if you are interested in it, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.